Hi everyone, um, I'm going to show you a card trick today. I like to call just two gods, so I'm going to do a mouse on me. Um, deck of cards. Just take the extra cards out. We don't need the jokers. And we don't need the advertisement cards. So as you can see, the deck is in no particular order. And just in case you don't trust me, we'll even give the deck a cut like this. And you can cut the cards yourself, so if you want to do that, you can do. So after the cards are cut, I'm just going to ask you to touch any card as I go through like this. So touch any one, let's say they touch this one. Watch, I'll cut it to the top. I'm going to place it down the table. Now notice how I place it down the table without looking at it. Okay. You didn't see it either. But I can tell you, just by touching it like this, that it's the Queen of Hearts. Let's have a look. The Queen of Hearts. That's just too good, and this is how to do it. I may have told a little white light at the beginning of the trick. I said the, cut, the deck was in um, no particular order. And that's what it looks like to you. But to me, the deck is in the Psy Stebbin setup. This is a full deck arrangement, and it means that every 13th card is the same. Now, the way to perform this trick, you need to get a deck in the Psy Stebbin setup. And the way to do this is to arrange each card into, the, into a group of their own suit. So group all the clubs together, all the all the hearts, all the spades and all the diamonds. I'm going to bore you by doing it with that deck, so I've got another one ready here. So you can just pause the video while you, can do, while you do that. So you've got all the diamonds grouped together, you've got all the spades grouped together, you've got all the hearts grouped together and all the clubs grouped together. And we don't need the jokers. So once you've got them in this order, you need clubs over here, okay, to your left, hearts, spades, diamonds. So remember the word chased, C-H-A-S-E-D, chased, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, you need to have them in that order. Now what you do is you take the ace from the, cl from the uh, clubs and place it on the top, okay. And with the hearts, you need to take the ace, the two, the three, and the four, and place them on the top. Set them down. And from the spades, you need to take the, the ace, the two, the three, the four, the five, the six, and the seven. Place it on the top. And you probably guessed it right now, going up in three. So you're going to take the ace all the way up to the ten of diamonds, and place them on top of the jack, the queen, and the king of diamonds. So, your cards from going from left to right should look like this. On the top, ace of clubs, four of hearts, seven of spades, ten of diamonds. Okay? Now, once you've got that, you're going to take the ace, place it here, the four, the seven, the ten, and carry, carry this, carry this um, procedure on going from left to right, so take one from that pile, from that pile, from that pile, going from left to right, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, now I'm not going to bore you, well, I do that, so I've already got a deck set up in the Cy Stebbins order, that is the one I did the trick with, which is the white arcane deck, this is the white ghost here, so, so once you've got your cards in the size Stebbins, you need to show them the cards, and to them it will look just like an ordinary deck in no particular order. They may want to riffle shuffle, but the way I like to do it, I like to use fancy cards for this. I don't like to, to riffle shuffle my brand new cards because it bends them, so I just like to cut them instead. That's the way I cover up that the excuse not to riffle shuffle, but uh, if you've got any other method, then use that one. So, ask them to cut the cards if they want to, just in case they think it may be in a particular order. Hopefully they won't ask to riffle shuffle, but uh, yeah. Anyway, so once you've cut the cards, just ask them just to touch any card as you go through. Let's say they touch this one. What you want to do is separate the cards then, so the card they touch is in your left hand on top of this pile. 
place this pile on top of the pile in your right hand. So the card they touch is now the, the top card. Now with the size stebbins, um, it's very easy to tell what their card is just by looking at the bottom card. The bottom card is the seven of clubs. Okay. Now to to know what their top card is, all you have to do is plus three in value, and just go into the next suit in the chased order. So if that's the seven of clubs, you plus three, which is ten, and the next suit in the chased order is hearts. Okay, so it will be the ten of hearts, their card that they touched, and sure enough, it is the ten of hearts. Just make sure that you plus three each time and go up in go up in the suit in the chased order. Clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. Now, just in case you don't know, 11 is jack, 12 is queen, and 13 is king. So if you have uh, an 8 on the bottom, and you have to plus 3, it comes out as 11. There is no 11 of diamonds or whatever. But it will be the jack, okay? Just in case you have a 9, plus 3 is 12, so it will be a queen. And a 10 plus 3 is 13, so it will be a king. Okay, just to clear that up. So now that's basically it. You just have to practice. And make sure you don't make it too obvious that you're looking at the bottom card. Sometimes I like to hold the deck up like this. And just run my finger up to give a little magic illusion. And as I'm doing so, I'm looking at the, the back card. And as I'm rubbing my finger, making the prediction... I'm just plussing three and going up in the chased order. So that's basically it. Um, one quick another effect that you can do with the Psy Stebbins is that you can go down 13 cards from the top. So um, there. So once you make the prediction that their heart, their card will be the Ten of Hearts or the Three of Clubs or whatever their prediction is, say to them also if you want to take it up a notch, place it down if you want or you can keep it on the top, I prefer to keep it on the top and say the 13th card down will be the 10 of uh, spades 10 of spades, so sure enough you just count 13 uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, the 10 of spades okay, and then you count another 13 okay if you want to, the 27th or the 40th or whatever card you want down from the top. That's just a quick another little illusion you can do with the size step and setup. So make sure you put in a loads of practice before you do this trick on the streets and have loads of fun with it. So I'll see you next time. Bye.